Hello my friends, how you doing? Just thought I'd make you another quick video. I've just got to, I'm just going to quickly do something. My wife's got the fairy lights on. That might help me a little bit. Um, it's that time of year, I guess. Got our little fairy lights going. Um, I just wanted to round up today and in terms of the challenge, the happiness challenge. And it was really about getting you to do a little bit more but really, in essence, it's about habits, because as you, the more you repeatedly do something, the more your brain finds it easier to go back there over and over. Now, some people believe that positivity is forced. Now, you might meet someone who, who or you might have heard of someone who naysays and, and criticizes and pokes fun at people who are, who are genuinely positive most of the time but here's the thing someone who is genuinely positive all the time is just in the habit nothing more nothing less of creating thought patterns that go to the positive you see we think our minds are like cameras right taking pictures of what we see oh look there's a tree over there Oh, look, that's the TV. Oh, look, my life's like this. Oh, he's a dick. She's an idiot. Whatever. We, we, we think our minds are like cameras. Chunk, 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 taking pictures. When the truth of the matter is, our minds are like projectors. Taking in images and turning them into something that we believe with our values. You know, sometimes our ego gets involved, our subconscious. There are so many things that create what we create. Now, if someone's just been in the habit of meditating daily, of taking care of the hydration, of, of paying compliments, of having goals, of, of doing workouts, keeping their body strong, of getting to bed on time, of, of hugging people often, of, of, of making sure that they accept what they can't change. I mean, the list of little things that can go on in someone's life that somehow makes them positive is total BS. In order to live a happier and more successful life, it's all about the habits that you form. And it's about having the humility to go, okay, well, this habit that I have formed, like, for instance, I'll be really honest right now and say that up until like the last five days, I just gotten into that habit of not being that loving towards my wife. Like I, I just maybe did a little bit too much work or maybe just was going to bed a little later, my well-being wasn't as good. I didn't feel I didn't I didn't help out with the washing up. It's a classic. Hold my hand up, male stereotype. There were just a bunch of things. And it was just really it was like caught up with me. And I guess any of you here might be able to empathize with things like sugar or or not being quite so loving to people or not quite getting to bed on time or maybe forgetting about your hydration or maybe not taking care of your gratitude or your goal setting or whatever it may be it it, it it can go one way habits and it can also go the other so you just got to have the self-awareness to know where you're at in your journey it's never going to be a straight line it's just going to wiggle 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 and we're always just about managing ourselves as you're on this journey of life just know which ha habits are holding you back and which ones therefore you want to create instead and and what i did uh, about five or six days ago is I was just like, right, fuck this. I'm being an idiot. Sort your shit out, Will. And, and just start being more kind to her. Start being more loving and just switch that on again and really get back into that habit. Because you see the thing with habits, right? You and I b both know this. They're a bastard because they get the better of you. I, 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 I had noticed that my ass felt like it was stuck to the sofa instead of going and doing the washing up because the habit I'd formed was just like, yeah, washing up, I'll do it tomorrow. And then my wife went and did it, which just distances the two of us even more. So what I did five days ago, so, right. I'm like, come on, I'm going to do the washing up. And I just got over that inertia. And what I want you to do, my friend, is I want you to overcome that inertia because the more inertia you feel, to do something that you know is going to be good for you, 
the more reason there is to do it. Because clearly the inertia is telling your mind and you that you've created the wrong habit, the habit that you don't want. So I was like, okay, let's go. Let's do the washing up. And I, I do hate washing up, I'll be really honest. But what I love is making my wife feel good when she comes home and she sees the kitchen tidy. And do you know what? It's bloody worth it. It's really worth it in the end. And if you can just think of the things, and I'll give like, what I'll do now is I'll really quickly run through what I, I guess, consider the five most important habits for happiness and well-being. And I think number one, straight out the gate, is gratitude. Whatever you can do in your daily life to pay gratitude, whether it's compliments, whether it's thanks for your own life, like what you have, you know, gratitude journals in the evening, whatever it may be. That's the first one. The second one is hydration. A clear mind is clear thinking. And when you've got that clear thinking, you can just sort of brush aside irrational thoughts and think of rational ones and keep yourself on point and get things done and be productive and feel happy that you're being productive. And I swear, hydration lies at the heart of that. The third one is getting to bed on time night after night and you know we all get into netflix and yada yada and listen my god my friends i'm the same i get so addicted to some of those shows they're so good but in the end that wears into the next morning and then the next morning wears into the next day and then it's much harder to be loving to our spouses and much harder to get the work we want to get done done and it's harder to do those workouts and it's just the list of things that becomes harder when we haven't got rest is too long to list so the third one is getting to bed on time. The fourth one is accepting what you can and can't change. Because accepting what you can't change is just the reality of your daily life. There'll be certain things, and, and normally it's people, like it, we can't change people and we just got to remember that over and over and over again as hard as bloody, bloody hard as it is, my friend. My God, is that not easy? But if we can just accept people for how they are, we have so much more peace. And the flip side, the other, the other bit to, to the acceptance is accepting what we can change. And mostly what we can change is our habits. And just improving our habits. And the fifth thing, the fifth thing that I believe is the most important habit that you could create for a happier, healthier life is to be present. Because it's amazing how much of the BS that we put ourselves through, the little stresses, the, the just endless fight with life, we, so much of it dissipates, if not all of it, when we take a really deep breath and we just put ourselves in the moment. And I think it's that fifth one. If I'm really honest, if you're going to do one thing, I think it's that fifth one that habit more than any other and that's just daily meditation and that's just every single day asking yourself am i here am i here and am i enjoying and 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 experiencing this moment or am i elsewhere because if you just put yourself in the present moment it's almost as if stress doesn't have a chance because stress arises when we're here wanting to be over there Whereas if we're just here, no matter how bad here can be, and by the way, that's not easy, but if we can just be here in the moment, things are going to be all right. And you're going to be all right. So, my friend, I'm going to go, because my daughter is now shouting at me. I've managed to get this video done with her whilst watching Hey Dougie. It's my time to go. My friends, loads of love. Bye-bye for now.